shit, where the walrus? Where's this picture at? Oh, my God. Do you know what? It's been a long day. Good luck. Oh, thank you, Simon. Well, you know, a lot of seals get all the limelight doing all sorts of cool tricks and stuff. They're so skinny and cute. But walruses can do the same stuff. <laughs> you want to see my first trick? Let's go. Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> I'm going to balance on this ball. No. Here we go. No. <laughs> I'm gonna step it up a notch. <laughs> it's so bad, it's good. Oh. I'll do it from higher! Oh no! No! Oh no! Totally honest with you. At first, I didn't get it. Well, I've changed my mind. Really? Well, I'm telling you, it was ridiculous. But I happen to love you, and I think America is going to love you. I know this is nuts, but yes. Simon. I'm with Howie. I thought it was like fantastically stupid, but I liked it. And well done for having the guts to come back because this one actually got me. So I'm going to say yes. Two yeses, you only need one more yes. It's a no for me, but you need one. <laughs> but Julianne can save you. It's my dream. Hang on. It's my dream. It's my dream. It's my dream. Let it flow. The only walrus we've ever had. How are you? Uh, I'm nervous. You're nervous? I know, it's a big stage. What's your name? Uh, Kevin Schwartz. Hi, Kevin. And where are you from, Kevin? Um, Madison, Wisconsin. OK. How old are you? Uh, 49. And what do you do? Um, I'm unemployed. I'm trying to be a comedian. Oh, really? And what made you decide comedy? Um, um, there was a comedy club that was right, right down the street, and I was looking for an excuse to get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that so far, fear has sort of ruled my life. Comedy has been a way of trying to take back control. When I was little, my parents noticed that I had severe anxiety. My family moved around a lot, which I, I think made everything worse. Because I was always the new kid, and I was this dorky, uh, unathletic nerd. One time, my classmates spent a week not talking to me, pretending I was invisible. After college, my anxiety got even worse, and I stopped leaving my house altogether. I was diagnosed with agoraphobia. I was just terrified of leaving my house. 
month after month and then year after year. It just went on and on and on. And there's a day-to-day -day awareness that life is slipping by. Many years later, my psychiatrist gave me tasks, like go outside. Then it was stay outside for five minutes. Each step was painful, but eventually I could walk around the block. I've always been interested in comedy. There was a comedy club three blocks away. My psychiatrist made me go there and write jokes. And he said, we need to get you up on that stage. It seemed impossible. I went up, I was just so scared. People said, I could see how scared you were, but you made it, which meant the world to me. I've gone to open mics and small things like that, but going on the America's Got Talent stage is a huge opportunity to reach out to the world. It's still with me, this fear, but instead of just watching other people live, I want to live. All right, I don't want to make you more nervous than you already are, Thank so you. good luck. Thank you. Let's back up a little bit, baby. Let's get the stand right there. Let me tell you about the first time I blacked out. And that's all I remember. I don't always cry myself to sleep. I have insomnia. <laughs> Today, I saw twin pandas. That bears repeating. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a problem with grammatical tenses, but not yet. <laughs> Just married makes it sound like they're already disappointed. <laughs> Isaac Newton died a virgin. That means I have one up on history's greatest scientific genius. <laughs> because I'm not dead. I went to the grocery store. The sign said, no food or drinks inside. So I went home. <laughs> Thank you very much. a rough start and then honestly you got me I can get very uh, distracted so the fact that they were these one-liner jokes were perfect and it, <laughs> <laughs> but I I loved it I thought it was really really funny thank you very much good job Gabrielle I think all of us have seen so much stand-up comedy and your act I mean you came out here and you killed you, you gotta know you're a star you're a freaking star man thank you very very much Simon, the first half, I'm kind of thinking, this isn't going great. And then the second half was really funny. Thank you. So I like you a lot. Thank you. I agree. I could see that you were really nervous, but you were so wonderful. Thank I you. love you and welcome out of the house. Thank you very much. We got a vote. I'm gonna start by giving you your first yes. Thank you. Gabrielle. Yes! Thank you. Julianne. Yes. 
Simon. Kevin, we've got about 4,000 yeses here. Okay, thank you very much. I'm Michael Paul. I'm a bird trainer, and I specialize in birds of prey. The bird I brought today is a very special bird. What makes it beautiful is also what makes it very dangerous. The beak, the claws, the wingspan. He is quite smart, and we have a particular bond that allows me to go outside certain comfort zones to try different things. Ow. But the other side to that is I haven't really had him in this kind of environment. Oh. <laughs> she smells uh, the bird in there. Do you smell Willie in there? Working with birds of prey, there are a lot of risks. Many injuries are possible and have happened. When I take off the cloth on the cage, how will the animal respond to the lights and the moving cameras and the crew? Even with training, it is not hard to trigger a bird of prey. If they're feeling like they are in danger, they might want to attack. I have two goals tonight. One is to make sure the audience and the judges are wowed. Hi. And two, that the audience and judges are safe. Welcome. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Michael Paul. And where are you from? I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philly. <laughs> yeah. So what do you do for a living? I have had many jobs, but through all of that, I have always been an exotic bird trainer. An exotic bird, bird trainer? trainer? Yeah. Ooh. Wow. OK, wait, so what are you going to do for us today? I brought uh, one of the birds that I've been training for quite a few years, and I hope you like it. Well, without Thank further you. ado. Thank you. Um, I'm going to ask everyone to just have a, a, a slightly quieter demeanor at first so we don't spook the end. Gonna be real. I did too. Uh, this is uh, this is Willie. Willie, say hello. Say hello. <laughs> say hello. Hello. Very good there. Very good. I'd like you to welcome Willie, of course, by saying hello, Willie. Hello, Willie. Very good there. Nice job. Okay. <laughs> This animal uh, seems very docile in captivity, but in the wild, he is known as a bird of prey. I'm Jewish. You're a little under control, remember this? Uh, now folks, uh, when animals are in a new environment, the biggest problem is obedience. So what a lot of zookeepers and trainers and veterinarians use uh, is a little hypnosis. And this is not a very heavy trance, but when I say sing, he will sing. When I say sleep, he will sleep. When I say crap. <clears throat> Did that really happen? <laughs> this would be a lot easier if you just do more bird things. Hey, I'm a master impressionist. That's what my species does. You do jokes, I do impressions. I got it. I could do jokes. I'm sure you could. Could you do an impression? <laughs> yes, yes, I could do an impression. Go ahead, do it. <laughs> what? Do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> All right. I will do an impression. Yeah, and then you tell me who I'm doing. Okay. All right, let me think. King Kardashian. What? <laughs> you are tweeting without thinking. Donald Trump. <laughs> no. It's cheap. It's cheap. Animals, it's a crapshoot. Crapshoot. Mm, come on! <laughs> All right, now listen, I have an impression. Okay, I am not a professional. That's fine. All right, t tell me who this is. Ready? Yeah. Who's this? <clears throat> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Elton John. <laughs> I'm going to do one more and we're done if you don't get it. Fine, there's like the most famous person of all. Okay, ready? Yeah. Who said this? I'll be back. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Now, 
Number one, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. And number two, number two, mm, come on. No. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. We got completely mugged, right? <laughs> they think there's going to be a parrot there, and then that thing comes out. I mean, visually, my son Eric would love it. So you kind of appeal to five-year-olds and me, 35-year-olds. It was fantastic. Julian, that was so much fun. I was laughing hysterically. And he was pooping. I actually loved it so much. <laughs> Howie. I think you just changed your life tonight. I do. You are so good and so funny at what you do. I love you. Thank you. So far, this kind of act hasn't really been my, my jam. But you made it my jelly, my jam, my apple yes. butter. It was so good. Yes. Thank you. Let's take it to a vote, Simon. I'm going to say yes. Thank you. Julia, 100% yes. Three yeses. You got four yeses. Yes! Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, look at the boot. Look at the boot. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> it's in my contract. <laughs> that was he hilarious. Was and that is... Henta. Henta. Uh, like the virus? Oh. oh! How old is Henta? Henta is about seven months old. And so she? Yes. She's very cute. She is. So is there just one or lots? We've got some understudies backstage. Pneumonia and varicella. <laughs> Are they understudies or an infestation? How did you get into this? Like, where does a young lady find rats, and what inspired you? Well, I had some pet rats that I loved very much. Right. And I was working as a performer. So I started training my rats to do a couple of tricks, and then I trained them to do some more stuff, and then they started taking over the show. OK. Good luck. This is kind of amazing. Ah, oh, rats. I love rats. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Oh, my God, is she going to jump? <laughs> oh, wait. I know in your head right now, please don't say it. Howie. <laughs> okay. I haven't seen this. This is incredibly unique. It's incredibly entertaining. 
I love it. Oh, thank you. Gabrielle? That was super different and really unique. I've never seen rat talent like this. Henta is a star. I definitely want to see more of Henta. Thank you. This is so weird and I love it. This is so awesome. Um, I've never seen anything like that before. That was so much fun. I think you guys are great. Hashtag, I like weird. <sighs> I do. <laughs> I love that. I mean, it was bonkers. We were all rooting. <laughs> I think rats have just got bad PR. They're sweet and people think they're nasty, they're nice. Well, that, that's why we're here today. Good for you. I love both of you. I'm going to say yes. Hey, I'm Terry Crews. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to AGT YouTube.